now the two consecutive bands of the rods they are present in the alternating pattern so if the rods are going towards gingivally the another pattern is going towards occlusally so this is the consecutive pattern that is change in the direction of the rod and this kind of section this kind of consecutive bands are more seen when you cut a tooth longitudinally and if you view it under the oblique reflected light then you will find more of this kind of structure in which you will see alternating band and these alternating dark and light band you can see these dark this is a light band then this is the dark band these consecutive alternating dark and light bands are known as hs band which is the hunter sugar bands so hunter sugar bands are these alternating you can see this is a dark band then light band then dark band then light band so these dark and light band that is seen when a tooth is sectioned longitudinally and they represent a regular change in the direction of the rod which is regarded as a functional adaptation that minimizes the risk of the cleavage in the axial direction under the masticatory forces the reason why we see this hs band is either the reason can be because of the calcification or there can be difference in the permeability and composition of the enamel matrix the widely accepted theory is that because of the change in the direction of the enamel rods we see this alternating dark and light bands the when the tooth is cut longitudinally when you take a longitudinal cut section of the tooth we see more of these alternating dark and light band and this is known as hunter sugar band hs band so one dark band you see one light band you see this dark band are known as diazone so this is point is a controversial point in orbans 14th edition page number 46 if you see these are known as diazones these dark band d for diazones and d for you remember dark band and these are seen in the longitudinal section and light bands these are known as para zones these are seen in the transverse section so the prism which are cut longitudinally they produce the dark band and these dark band are known as diazones and while you cut transversely you will see the light bands and these light bands are known as para zones so the angle between diazone and para zone this angle is 40 degrees